So in this video, I'm gonna teach you my approach to studying very, very difficult subjects. Because I know about this because I did an engineering degree, specifically electrical engineering, which is known as one of the hardest degrees there are. There are a lot of very, very difficult subjects in there. And not only are there a lot of very difficult subjects, but I purposely picked a lot of the most difficult ones. Like I purposely, a lot of the subjects I did were computer science ones, where basically they were optional, but I did computer science subjects. And computer science subjects are also known to be very, very difficult. So I've got a lot of experience with difficult subjects because I learned to love them. Because the truth is, you can learn to love them too. You can learn to destroy them. You just need to know the right tactics. So that's what I'm gonna to share to you. What I've learned over my almost decade of doing very, very notoriously difficult subjects. So hopefully in this video, I'm gonna help you find learning difficult subjects to be easy and fun. So let's get into it. So by the way, if you wanna study faster without burning out within literally a couple weeks, check out the first link in the description. I can help you personally. So, okay, let's get into this, uh, this topic. So the first thing I wanna tell you, I've got notes here, about studying difficult subjects is you need to ignore, this is a mindset first of all, you need to ignore when other students say that a subject is difficult. So basically, <coughs> the first thing to realize is that, yes, whether a subject is difficult or not is up to perspective. Like I remember there was a subject I did called principles of finance. And everybody was saying like, oh, this subject is so difficult, so difficult, so difficult. And it was literally, it became the subject of my degree that I got the highest mark in. I got, it was the only subject I got 100% in. And so, so some students might think a subject is difficult, but it's only difficult for them. That's the first thing. The second thing to realize is you need to reframe your perspective. Instead of saying this subject is hard, you need to say this subject is challenging. Now, I know that sounds like cringy, like isn't that the same thing? But when you go into a subject with the mindset of it being difficult, it actually prevents you from learning. Because when you, to learn, you need to have a balanced mind. And when you sit down to learn and you know the subject is hard because other people have told you, in your mind you start thinking, damn, this subject is hard, you know, Bob failed it, it's so difficult, it's got such a low failure rate. You start stressing, you start encountering the, this resistance and you can't learn. So realize that no matter how difficult a subject is, you can learn it. Every subject is learnable. The only difference between so-called easy subjects and difficult subjects is that yes, difficult subjects require different approaches and they may take more time, not gonna lie to you, but there is nothing inherent about them that is difficult. Because I like to think of your brain as a machine. Your brain is literally a machine that is designed to learn. So in my personal opinion, one of the most difficult things that we learn in our entire life is how to walk. Literally every single one of us has learned how to walk. And I think learning how to walk, personally, I, I don't know, I wasn't there when I learned how to, how to do it. But I think learning how to walk is as difficult, if not more difficult, than studying you know, astrophysics or something, a really difficult subject. The only difference is, so what I mean by that is everything is learnable. I truly believe that because your computer is a machine and all you need to do is give it the correct inputs and it will learn everything. So that's what I wanna go through in this video because difficult subjects have to be approached differently. But yes, they may take more time because in um, third year of my engineering degree, second year, I had three relatively easy subjects. To me, they were relatively easy. It was like linguistics, uh, software development subject and foundation and um, algorithms and data systems. So for me, those were the relatively easy subjects and I was doing one difficult engineering subject, which was signals and systems. And that subject ended up taking about 80% of my time and energy because it was more challenging, more difficult. But fundamentally, there was nothing different about it because my computer was a machine. All I had to do was input the correct techniques and it will learn anything. So, okay, what are these techniques to learn difficult subjects? All right, first you need to understand what is it exactly that makes a subject difficult. So I've got a couple things here. First thing that might make a subject difficult is there's a lot to memorize. Let's take, for example, medicine. Medicine is difficult because you've got to learn a bunch of different, you've got to memorize a bunch of different concepts. So a lot to memorize. That's the first thing that might make a subject difficult. The next thing that might make a subject difficult is a lot of procedures. So for example, maths. Maths is not about memorization. It's more about learning all these different procedures, all these different methods. So you need to get a lot of practice in. 
it's like a skill-based subject. And uh, the third thing I think that makes subjects difficult is they're very, very abstract. For example, I did this subject called linear algebra, which was literally like maths in 10, 20, 30 dimensions. It was crazy. So that kind of thing is very difficult to visualize. So difficult subjects tend to have those kind of things um, as a part of them. So, okay. Okay, so I think when it comes to learning, there are literally three principles that I think if you apply, you can learn anything. So I think they are number one time. So the more time you can give to a subject, the better. And, and by time, I don't mean like hours and hours. I mean time spread out. So because to learn something, it takes what's called spaced repetition. And spaced repetition is where you have to learn something, take a break, learn something, take a break, learn something. So the longer the period of time you're learning something, the more likely you're actually gonna pick it up. So let's take, for example, a song. Maybe you listen to a song and the first time you listen to it, you don't know it at all. But then let's say you listen to that song every single day for two weeks. By the end of that two weeks, you're able to sing that song perfectly. So in theory, this was a difficult thing. You had to memorize, I don't know, 500 words. And with enough time and repetitions, you were able to learn that song. So difficult subjects take time and repetition. You can't learn them in one weekend. You need, I mean, you could, but the more time, the more repetition you give to them, the better. And I'll tell you exactly how to do this in a second. But basically, I mean, I'll tell you now. Okay, so basically what I like to do is I like to attack these subjects with shorter bursts of time. So a 20 minute session of studying maths can get you very, very far. And then you take a break and then you come back 20 minutes and then maybe you come again the next day and the next day and the next day. So do a little bit every day and you'll be able to make progress. So time, repetitions, and the third thing is methods. So you need to use effective, like scientifically proven effective methods for these subjects. And the best method is active recall. I talk about this in all my videos, but basically active recall is testing yourself, taking the information out of your mind. If you're gonna memorize a bunch of concepts in medicine, let's say, you are going to learn it much, much faster if you actually test yourself on the material and practice actually recalling the information from your mind. If you simply reread the textbook over and over again, you're not gonna learn it fast. So active recall is essential for learning difficult subjects fast. So what I like to do is if there's a difficult subject that requires a lot of memorization, I will literally make my own questions. I will make like a bank of my own questions and constantly test myself on those concepts. That, that's the thing. In university, I didn't take notes. I didn't go to classes, to be honest. I skipped a lot of classes. And so what helped me was active recall. I would read the lecture slides and I would literally test myself on everything. I was constantly asking myself questions about the material. So time, repetitions, and methods. Those are the required things for subjects, for, for difficult subjects. Okay, the next point I wanna give you about difficult subjects is they're supposed to feel overwhelming at first. Because every time I opened the lecture slides to a difficult subject, I would always be extremely overwhelmed. I would be like scrolling through the slides, I would see like formulas everywhere, I would see these weird like diagrams and I would have no clue what I was looking at. That experience is normal. When you first start learning something difficult, you've got a lot of fear because there's not a lot of clarity involved in it. For example, when I first started learning talking to camera, I had a lot of fear. I was like, oh, I suck at talking, I'm so awkward. What if my friends find this? I'm not gonna be able to learn this. But here I am, I've made like hundreds of videos and it's much more natural to me. So when you first open a difficult subject, it's gonna be difficult. But let me ask you this question. Have you ever learned something difficult in your life? Have you ever learned something where at first it looked difficult, but then you managed to tackle it? Absolutely, because your brain is a pattern recognition machine. If you give it enough time, repetitions, and tactics, like I said, eventually something that feels overwhelming at first will become very, very natural to you. All right, so the next tip I wanna give you, first of all, what makes difficult subjects challenging? What makes them difficult? Well, it's because they strain your working memory. They've got either very, very difficult concepts or a lot to memorize. So there are a lot of work for your working memory. They do drain you faster, not gonna lie. But don't let this stop you, right? I'll explain in a bit why, but how do we handle this? So there are multiple techniques. First of all, like I said earlier, 
I like to slow down. So I like to attack maths in these very, very short bursts, 20 minutes and then rest, 20 minutes and then rest. The second thing to understand is there's a book called A Mind for Numbers, and it talks about how to learn maths. And it talks about basically when you learn maths or any other difficult subjects, there's two kinds of modes that your brain can go into. It can go into, I think, concentrated mode and diffuse mode. So concentrated mode is when you're sitting there working on problems, learning maths, and then diffuse mode is when you do the opposite. You literally give your brain a break. So I like to attack these subjects for 20 minutes, one hour, however long, and then take a break. So literally one of my favorite things to do is to just go walk in nature. So go walk outside where there's birds and trees, and this has scientifically been proven to improve your cognitive load, to make you actually be able to focus more. It literally resets your focus. So take frequent breaks where you're not on your phone, where you're out in nature, where you're taking a shower, whatever, and work in these short bursts because these subjects really kind of drain you a little bit more. And the other thing is to work in so-called chunks. So what you can do is you can work on one set of concepts at a time. Like, okay, I'm gonna work on this topic for 20 minutes and then this topic for 20 minutes and back to this topic and then back to this topic. And one of the biggest things is to always work on the fundamentals. Because when I, whenever I would get stuck in a difficult subject, it was always because I was missing something from the fundamentals, maybe from an old subject or maybe from week one. Because I didn't understand those concepts deep enough, these more difficult, more advanced concepts in the subject were much more difficult for my brain to understand. So if you don't have the fundamentals solid, everything else will kind of collapse and it's gonna be very difficult to learn. Like if you understand the fundamentals of a trigonometry subject forever, for example, that's the difference between brute memorizing a formula versus actually understanding how the formula was created in the first place. Because if you understand all the foundations, learning those more challenging things become much more easily, much more memorable, and are less draining on you cognitively. All right, the final thing I wanna mention you in this video is that learning difficult subjects is actually an extremely rare but extremely valuable skill in the modern day. So, you know, we all know about AI, AI is kind of <laughs> taking over and we don't know where the future is headed. People always ask like, what skills should we learn in the future? What should we do? Should we learn coding? Should we learn maths? What I personally think is that we should be able to learn things very, very fast. If you, because new technologies are gonna constantly be coming. And if you can learn something very, very fast, you will have a massive advantage in the modern day. And this is a very, very rare skill because most people avoid difficult subjects. I know because the people who do engineering degrees are very, very rare. And I did an engineering degree, not gonna lie, part of the reason I did it was because I wanted to seem impressive. I really cared what other people thought about me. So I thought, okay, if these guys see that I'm doing these difficult subjects, they're gonna think I'm very, very impressive. That doesn't motivate me much anymore, but I will say that I did learn very valuable skills going through engineering degree because I learned how to do difficult subjects. I learned how to learn difficult things. So within about two years, I went from being super awkward, super shy on camera to being able to speak more freely in front of a big audience. Because if you learn how to learn difficult subjects, you will be able to learn everything. You will have a rare advantage in the modern day, I guarantee. So that's it. Go study your difficult subjects. And if you're really struggling with burnout, if you're really forcing yourself to focus and you're not getting the grades you wanted, check out first thing in the description. I can personally help you study more effortlessly, study faster. I can even teach you study techniques. But check it out if you want better grades within literally a month. That's my private community below. I can literally help you personally, keep you accountable. But apart from that, see you later.